I adore kinetic sculptures. There's something deeply satisfying about them. I want to put my creative abilities to the test and see if I can create a completely new and unique one. And if I succeed, I will share the design with you so you can make these sculptures for yourself. I really like bearings, so I want to incorporate them into my design. After ordering a bunch of AliExpress, I looked for the ones with the lowest price and the best freewheeling capabilities. Turns out most of them are greased, so I'm using gasoline to remove the grease. I also tried draining the grease by putting them into an oven, but this just caked the grease into the bearing. I'm making my first prototype with a laser cutter and with wood. Besides bearings, I also really like magnets, so I had the idea of making a waterfall-like sculpture. My first version didn't really work that well but I kept tweaking and improving my design. After a while I got a real good sense of what would work and what would not. The biggest issue with these flat laser cut designs is stiffness. The magnets want to bend away from each other. That's why I switched to a 3D print design, using two bearings instead of one. I chose a cylindrical magnet because it's easier to insert into a 3D print. Marking all the same poles on the magnets made sure I would always insert them in the right way. Ow! It's broken and also my finger is broken. It's a bit too small. I want this whole system to be modular, so these are the first prototypes for that. The frame for the rotators can just be snapped together. It's never gonna fit. Every time I found something that didn't work, I improved it in a new version. I'm picking the smoothest bearing and inserting the magnet again. Let's do a quick test. That's really cool. From this point forward, I'm labeling all my parts with the version number. Only this part is not thick enough because I can just slide this off way too easily. That's so freaking cool. It seems like we can add another link. <sighs> oh. I did some experiments with adding finger grips. This should signal to casual onwalkers that it's alright to touch the kinetic sculpture. However, I didn't like the look of it, so I scrapped it all together. Making the whole system modular wasn't that simple. If this block on the top can have this size, then the one on the bottom should be able to as well, right? No. I want to make an invisible screw-based mounting system, and I've never done something like this before. However, I browsed around for some principles online, and then I made this. I think it's pretty. My old batch of bearings is running out, and I ordered some new ones online, and I'm adding some gasoline to them. My eyes really started to hurt when I worked with this stuff. The X1 has been perfect until this moment, but now somehow we're getting a little bit of spaghetti. I opened up these panels and the door, I cleaned the heated bed, and I would work. This was probably the issue. I think online it mentioned somewhere that you should print with PLA with the door open. This should be all the white parts, so basically the back side of the whole sculpture. And right here is all the parts that we're going to need. Ah, uh, satisfying. This is really nice. This is where we will put the sculpture. Look, it's stuff. And now that we're talking about tools, here's a quick word about today's sponsor. As usual, you can go to pcbway.com and order PCBs or have them CNC or 3D print stuff for you. However, right now you can also participate in their design contest. There's a lot of great prizes to win and it's also fun to watch the other submissions. Thanks for sponsoring this video, PCBWay. This wall detector to see if we have wires going through because this house is crazy and it has wires like just going all over the place. Here we have our entire strip. Here is my drill set. It's really old. I bought this at a second hand store about 10 years ago. 50 bucks. And I've done so many jobs with this one and it's still going strong. I mostly use these drills in combination with this box. Really easy to get the right drill. And I even marked with some tape the correct drill. That this is already good for us to use. We got power! So it's saying there's a power line here and here and here, but also here and here. So this product by Bosch is shit. It's even saying there's, there's a power line here. Am I a power line? No, I'm just a unicorn. Ah, this sh we'll just trust there's nothing here. The cool thing is that I tried to design these blocks and they don't break. They're the right size and I hope we can just whoosh, slap everything on a wall and we'll just be perfect. So far it feels like it and that's an amazing feeling. Moment of truth. Did I design a nice working mounting system that's modular? That's satisfying. Now I have just a handful of this stuff to install. Oh. Cool. 
this one. This is gonna be a first that we have two rows adjacent to each other. Well, I do see an issue here. These two parts aren't really lined up well enough. So you get that the parts wanna go and do this type of stuff. That's really not what we want. Actually, this might mess up everything. That makes me really stressed out when I make such a big thing and then I suddenly realize like it might not even work at all. Oof. Okay, that's sweet. How about we add this one? Oh, that is cool. There's way too much friction in this one. But we can swap out separate bearings, that's fine. The second batch of bearings has been given the exact same treatment as the first batch. However, earlier today I tried one and it was almost completely stuck. It doesn't even keep rotating on its own. So we've now used purified gasoline three times. We've used brake cleaner and now the paintbrush cleaner. It feels like these are just terrible bearings. I think the best option right now is to try if I can use the less than perfect bearings on the first batch. Yeah, we have another one done. Maybe we can use the to hear bearings after all. I really hope so. We'll see how far we get. This is a call out for help. Obviously, you guys are very smart. And if any of you has a better way to get the bearings like the ones we need for this project, let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully then we can all build a sculpture. And here it is in all its glory. Let's give it a whirl. Wow. Whoa, how did that happen? Isn't that so weird? You never expect something like that to happen. And of course, things like this. Let's try it again and see what happens this time. I'm giving the design files for this sculpture away for free. I even included a spreadsheet so you can generate exactly the sculpture that you want. Check the video description for more information. Thanks for watching the entire video. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Special thanks to my Patreon supporter, LowXY Nova. If you enjoy projects that are satisfied, I recommend you watch this video next. In this one, I build a satisfying marble machine.